This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by AMD. William sent us a rather disturbing email. He writes, I have a customer who somehow or another unleashed the crypto locker virus oh. on his system. Yeah. It encrypted the files on his computer and the shared folder on the server. Uber scary. This thug company person somewhere is holding the security key hostage for 72 hours. They claim it will be unencrypted if they pay $300. Thoughts, reflections are just out and out screwed. Longtime fan, love the show. William, uh, you may also know him from AtomicGeeks.com. Um, man, there is... This is a mess. So this is ransomware. It's a Trojan. They're almost always coming through accidentally clicking on what you think is uh, uh, an email from uh, FedEx, UPS, or banks, right? Banks have kind of become old hat. Now they're doing things like, oh, UPS is sending me something. It's the holiday shopping season. Click, boom, all hell breaks loose on your PC. And it's nasty, right? Because they're like, don't turn your PC off or we'll erase the data immediately. Actually, Disconnecting your PC from the internet is probably the first thing you want to do. Uh, and by the way, this is another reason you should be backing up and backing up on devices that are not attached to the network. We've told you about this, the 321 concept. Um, because anything, the, the, this particular Trojan, this malware, is nasty and it's sophisticated and it's going to try to encrypt anything it can reach on the network. Um, that's bad. <laughs> it, uh, it covers a lot of file types, and yeah. I think rule number one really is most security experts we've talked to do not advise paying the ransom. Yeah. So if you do accidentally <laughs> run this, we're not encouraging basically you to go pay that money because you are in effect encouraging the criminals out there to yeah. keep doing this over and over, and there's no guarantee that they will decrypt the file that they've <laughs> now scrambled in terms of your files on your computer. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny as we say that. There's a great article on on uh, Boston.com about how the Massachusetts Police Department pays $750 <laughs> ransom to open computer files locked by hackers. Payment is made in virtual currency and bitcoins. You know, and it's it's the situation like on eBay. If somebody says, "Well, I'm not actually shipping the item from California. Um, I'm shipping the item from Iowa, but I need you to send the payment to um, Minnesota, and I want you to wire the payment." Yeah, we're done. This is a fake auction, right? This 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 is the the, the you know, Bitcoin can be used to. Do things like anonymously transfer stuff to people who trojaned your network at work, which would be bad. You can also money, you know, if you wire money to someone, you, you cannot get them because the, it's just it's untraceable transactions. Without so these, these are smart and irritating criminals. Now, the good folks over at Sophos Labs reported the two main infection vectors, <laughs> basically how you get this, is email attachments Click. and botnets. So tip number one they're saying is do, do run a clean computer. Mm -hmm. And if it's not clean, if you have any questions about that, get it clean today. If that means it's time to finally, you know, format that hard drive and reinstall the operating system, if it's that bad, you might just have to do that. And as Pat mentioned, regular offline backups. Yeah. And, and be aware of any unexpected email attachments. And on that last point, don't be that person who's always <laughs> sending attached files to your friends. If it's a video, mm -hmm. send them the YouTube link. If it's a web page, send a link to that page itself, or a picture of the screen cap of yeah. that page, maybe. And as far as documents go, you can always host that somewhere or point them to the file directly or a PDF file or something like yeah. that. And if you get an email from FedEx or UPS or another shipper or a banking thing, do not click on whatever link is inside that email. Go open up a fresh browser window, type in the, the URL for the carrier, and then start manually inputting information. Um, Although not in every case though, nowadays when you're simply installing yeah. programs, you're gonna find that a lot of programs nowadays want to un un uh, basically also add in an unnecessary browser tool toolbar or some other so-called security program. Specifically with Adobe, I just updated Flash recently and it <laughs> wanted to put in its own toolbar for scanning my yeah. system. That probably is not malware, but it's similar in effect of, it's something you probably didn't need and it's asking you, to, it's trying to sneak it in really. And if you didn't uncheck the box into that, we just say no thank you, I, 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 I want to make it abundantly clear, always do the custom install, always you know, refuse the extra software. And we are in no way trying to suggest that Adobe is the manufacturer of a malware. No, uh, not or, at all. Or, or crypto locker. But man, <laughs> but they are, they are doing that behavior, which is similar well, to- But a lot of, I mean, we run into this a lot where somebody sends us an email, um, you guys, when, when I installed that application you thought was so cool that you talked about on, on, on websites we can't live without of, it, it installed a toolbar on my system. And it's like, you know, we've, we've talked about it before. Do the custom install, look at every single option, make sure you aren't just zipping through and letting it install anything at once. And this is, I can't, 
I, I can't stop this because companies that need money because they have like a shareware model or because they're giving stuff away for free, they need a source of revenue, and I'm all for that. Just you have to be super alert whenever you're installing applications. Totally. A lot of sites I'm dealing with now that I've used for years are switching over to that model where we're going to take that otherwise clean file, yeah. put it in our own wrapper that then adds either a paid toolbar or right. some other software that you didn't really want in the first place. <laughs> One great source for software in general, though, is that, that website we always talk about is Ninite.com and or Ninite, and they provide versions of the software that are only uh, the clean version. There is no additional toolbars or anything else installed. It's just going to give you the 32 or 64-bit 60 bit version that you need, and it's without a lot of headache or hassle, and that's, that's another reason yeah. I love that one site so much, really. It's just, it makes it easy to get around having to be very careful about how you install things. One last thing before we go, if you want to kind of learn everything about CryptoLocker, do yourself a favor, go over to bleepingcomputer.com slash virus dash removal slash CryptoLocker dash ransomware dash information. Uh, it is the mother load of uh, CryptoLocker deets. Because effectively with software like this, where they're, they're scrambling your files with a, with a unique key, those files are gone effectively. effectively. It's, it, as, that will, as, yeah. as in any article you'll read about this, you're effectively, you could throw that computer in the ocean and it would be just about as effective as how they locked those files up. And the chances are you won't get them back. So beware. Beware of where you keep your most important documents. And, and this is one of the worst kind of programs out there that if, if you click that one and you didn't pull the plug right away, it's, it's going to do some serious damage Only, that you might not be able to recover. Yeah, I mean, this, there's profound scumbaggery going on <sighs> behind this, and, which reminds me, now that we've said this, neither one of us can open anything attached to our work emails for like the next six months. <laughs> oh my goodness. Send it all to Google. <laughs> Let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Looking for a new laptop or tablet? Keep an eye peeled for the latest two-in-one designs powered by our sponsor, AMD. AMD delivers the CPU horsepower to easily tackle your day-to-day -day usage, and convertibles combine the productivity of a laptop with the convenience of a tablet, and they perform well in either role. AMD's all-day battery life means all their mobile solutions have at least eight hours of battery life. We're talking about a full workday, and AMD powers some of the world's best PC graphics, and they drive the experience behind the new Microsoft and Sony game consoles. Laptops and tablets with AMD processors, they leverage that same awesome tech, which means you have an awesome computer experience. We want to thank AMD for sponsoring this episode of Techzilla.